How's that for an unorthodox turkey hunt, huh? What? I said, how's that for an unorthodox oh turkey hunt? Oh my gosh! Morgan, back up in case he like moves. I was sure I would miss. And I, sh he's, I felt like he kind of saw me. He did, he put his head up. Yeah, he saw me and I was like, oh crap, I've got to move. Which I wasn't settling for no Jake this year. Yeah. Okay. Well, sure. Come on. Come on. It's no secret that this is an unorthodox turkey hunt. <laughs> uh, but we have been trying after these turkeys at the house for days. And today they gave Andrea fits. She was up in our blind three different times a day. Birds would gobble or birds would be out in the field somewhere and come out at the wrong time as we were getting in or out of the blind and spook and everything. And we're actually making a trip up to uh, our parents tonight. And I said to her, I said, you know what? Let me just put the Jake decoy in the backyard just in case uh, that turkey comes through again after you've come down and then we'll shoot him. Uh, Cause we're all about putting meat in the freezer. And it has been a couple years since Andrea got a Tom and these birds have been super, super hard. So. I was ticked, and now I'm elated. It's yep. a good hunt. So it's a good bird, so let's we'll That's check. the second kind of unorthodox hunt I've had. My very first one. Was We like, heard it and ran and got it. It and, was like five minutes. Yep. It was a flash hunt in the afternoon one time. Yep. yep. Sweet. Good deal. I wasn't settling for a Jake this year. So. Yep. I thought for sure I'd miss. Up. So flipping awesome. I knew he was gonna see me and run. I knew it. Uh, I know. So much fun. That's great. Can you turn over? Oh, 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 oh. So after some silence, I'm not sure if we spooked that bird or if he just showed up because he got some hens as we were moving in. But he or another bird in there just started gobbling again. And we think they're making their way up to this field that we've been set up against the back edge. So I'm actually walking back to the truck to get a few decoys because it's a pretty big field. It's going to be hard to pull a bird in once he gets out here unless we have some kind of visual for him. So I'm getting the decoys and we're gonna find a spot to set up and call, see if we can't get the Scotland bird to come up here to this field. And maybe so make it a shot at one today. He's coming around to the end of the fence. 